Hello, my name is Eber with Zoom, and in this quick video, I will show you how to set up a smart tripwire. So, pretty much what a smart tripwire is, is it's a virtual tripwire that you create on the computer. And when it comes to smart, is that it's able to detect between a vehicle or a human. That way, it minimizes false triggers. The PTC camera that we are working with today is one of our newer cameras. This is the model. It is the PTC S3 series. S3 um, means that it, it has SMD, which is able to detect between humans and vehicles. So before we get started, we need to click on the setting, as you can see on the top right. Under setting, we need to go to camera on the left and go to conditions. And under conditions, I'm sorry, we need to click on the video, not conditions. Under video, this is what we need to look for. Before you get started, you need to make sure that smart codec here, it is turned off. Pretty much what smart codec is, it is a new technology that was added to our NVRs and cameras, which allows it to store more video without taking as much storage. That's the simplest way I can put it for you guys. Um, if you turn it off, it does not affect you in a negative way because we have H.265 available, which also allows you to store more video without taking as much storage. The reason we need to turn it off is because the technology of smart codec does not work with the AI technology that is implemented on the camera. So pretty much um, SMD, facial recognition and all that does not work together with smart codec. So that's the reason you need to turn it off. But it does not impact you in any negative way. So moving forward, once we made sure this is off, um, if you do have it on, make sure you turn it off um, and it will ask you to restart your PTC. So make sure you go here, turn it off and click save. You need to click save and it's going to restart your PTC. And then once it boots back up, make sure it is off and then you can proceed to the next step. Once we have made sure that this is off, we need to go on to PTC and we need to click on the function. So before we get started with anything, we need to make sure that we have a preset already available. So under the preset here, um, we have many videos on our YouTube channel showing how to set up a tour, scan and on all of the above. Um, we also have a video specifically on how to set up the preset, but I will go ahead and show you on this quick video. So under the preset, you can go and move your camera to however you want it. You can go left, right, um, put it in the location that you may want your camera to be at once you find that sweet spot that you actually like um, you can start setting your preset so make sure you are using Internet Explorer as your browser as I found that that is the one that works the best when controlling the PTZ so once you have the, the area that you want you can just click add I clicked it one too many times so I'm going to delete one so once you click add Keep in mind that when you click save, it's going to save this screen right here. So it's going to save this screen as your preset. So you can double click on here and just type in a name for that preset. That way you know what preset you you set up. And then you can just click save. So that easy. That's how you just set up preset. Make sure you get the successful message. Once you're done with this, you will need to go on to event. Under event, we need to go on to smart plan. Under smart plan. You need to click here and select your presets. You can see this is the one we set up. And you have three options here. Face, de face detection, deep IVS, and video metadata. So make sure you just click on deep IVS. This is the one that sets up tripwire and intrusion and all of that. Face detection is pretty simple. It detects the facial, the face, and video metadata. It just detects how many humans went through a certain area, how many vehicles went through a certain area. It's just for you to get feedback and data. So we need to click under deep IVS. We need to click save. Make sure it is orange. That means that it is highlighted. If it's grayed out, that means that it's not It's not selected. If it's orange, that means that's the one that you selected. And here we have the other options. We have deep IVS, face detection, video. So we need to click under deep IVS. And under deep IVS, you can see we have our preset here. We need to click on the green plus sign. And we have all of these features that come up. Here we have all of the other things that you can set up. On this video, I'm just showing you how to set up tripwire. But 
the rest of them are set up exactly the same way. So if you know how to do tripwire, you can do the rest of them. So under tripwire, you just select tripwire. And to keep it um, simple, this is already fixed up for you. So you don't have to do any changes on here. If you would like to, you can. Um, but the PTC already comes set up to the best settings um, that could be available. If you do have some issues with it, you can come and um, change it and, and tweak it up a little bit. But there's nothing much you need, you need to do here. So pretty much what you need to focus on is your effective ob object. So if you want to be looking for humans or more vehicles. In this case, it's just humans for me. So I'm just going to uncheck that. You can leave both of them on or just one. Here we have the track time. That means that after it gets triggered, how many seconds it's going to follow that object. So by default, it comes set to 30 seconds. You can have it up to 15 or 300 seconds. Keep in mind that if the object does go behind a building or a tree or any object, it will lose. The PTZ will lose track. Um, it does not lock onto the object and does not wait for the object to come out of um, the building or behind whatever it is hiding. So just keep that in mind. Um, just in case the object does go behind the building or anything like that, it will lose track of it. Sometimes it does lock onto it, but most of the time the PTZ does get confused and it will lose track of it and it will go back to its original precision, which is this preset right here, the one that you set up. So in order for you to draw your preset, you need to click on draw rule and you click with the left on the mouse, drag, and once you're done, you left click again and you are done. Now you can see I have one that's building up again. All I have to do now is just right click on the mouse and I'm done. So here it gives you that direction. You can either go A to B, which means either way it's going to get triggered, or you can just select a certain way. So pretty much from B to A is going to get triggered and vice versa. From A to B will get triggered. I'm going to have it both ways. And once I have this set up, all I have to do is click save. You can see I got the successful message. If I go to live, you can see that I have the preset set up. So anytime anything, any human walks through from this side to this side or from this side to this side, it will get triggered and the PC, PTC will track it for the certain amount of seconds that you have it set up. One last thing that I do recommend you setting up is going back into setting. If you go to PTC on the left, and function we need to click under idle motion here make sure this is enabled and have it to preset and select the preset that you would like what this means is that after one minute of the camera just idling or the camera not doing anything like let's say you go in there and start following something manually after one minute the camera will automatically go back to the preset that you selected this is a good feature just in case you forget or the homeowner forgets to to go back to that position that is very important, the PTC camera would automatically do it for you. Just make sure you enable it, select preset, select your preset, the idle time, make sure you click one minute and just save it and you are done. So that is it. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thanks for watching.